everyone, welcome to November's altar decorating and today I'm going to be making an altar that is going to help me through kind of a hard time. Not going too much into it because I think I'll be doing a video on it. It's something that weighs heavily on me every once in a while. So I want to have the altar to really reflect that and help me get through this time. And so I wanted the altar to be especially meaningful this month. I'm starting off with this on my altar because with it off, it was so dark and I didn't want to have to like stop and start my camera like I did last time. So we're going to use this as the base for the altar this month. I also was very picky about what stones I wanted on my altar this month and because I wanted everything to be so meaningful, I have looked up the meanings of pretty much everything I'm putting on my altar this month. So, you know, as we put stuff on here, you will learn why I've picked certain things and, you know, what they mean. So to start off, I'm going to sage with my sage and cedar spray. I think I'm going to start off with the bases for the altar. And I'm going to use, of course, my abundance candle that has cloves in it and gosh I can't remember what else is in here but it's an abundance candle and a money candle and it helps bring abundance so I'm gonna put that here. I'm also going to put a piece of selenite on my altar. I apologize if you hear my dog barking. Echo is being very barky today and also I have the heater on in the background so if you keep hearing something stop and start that's the heater. <laughs> I want to put selenite on here because I always do and it just helps kind of bring up the vibration of the altar but it's also a cleansing thing and I just really like to use it. And then I'm also going to use my classic quartz crystal which I have programmed for my business which I haven't really been focusing a whole lot on my business this month but I do want to have that on there just because it's kind of a staple for me. I also want to include these hematite balls because I've really been having to use a lot of hematite recently. My friend recommended that I start using it because of my pain and because I'm a starseed. I never really thought about it, but I never was really that drawn to hematite. It was never a stone that really called out to me until recently, so um, I'm going to have that here, and I'm hoping, you know, that off in the corner it won't like go towards anything, you know, metal, but we'll see, because I do have something metal that's going on here. I also want to put my dollar bill that I found a couple months ago, which I was so excited to find this because it was the first piece of paper money that I found laying on the ground, but I'm going to put that there because it's kind of been a staple for me recently. And then I'm going to put agate on here, and I'm going to look up on my phone because I wrote this all down, um, why the reasons I want to put certain things on my on my altar. So the agate is beneficial in self-analysis and uncovering hidden circumstances that might interfere with well-being, which is something that I've really had to do recently with my health stuff. It's really easy for me to get so attached and fixed on what's happening around me and not be aware of how I'm feeling and how what it ha is happening around me is affecting my health. And so I'm trying to focus more on being very aware of that and being really vigilant on, you know, paying attention to what sets off the pain, what, you know, doesn't set off my pain. Um, it's very, very stress related. When I get stressed, I start feeling pain. So I have tried to keep my stress level down, um, which is why I've been not offering as much readings in my shop. If you've noticed, my Etsy has started um, offering less things and I'm trying to keep it to a very minimal stress which is why I've done that but without going too much into that um, I'm also going to put more hematite on here and the reason being is that I want to mention why I have hematite on here. Hematite is good for sealing the aura and pain relief and sealing the aura is always good. Having that bubble around your yourself is a really good thing to you know, keep. So I want to have hematite on there for that reason, but also for the pain relief. I'm also putting Numite 
on my altar, which Numite is kind of a new thing to me, honestly. I didn't really know about this stone at all before July, I believe, so I don't know if it's new to the market or if it's just something that I never knew about before, but Numite is an amazing stone and it's a great grounding stone and I really like it and it's its grounding properties are comparable for me to black tourmaline and so that's really really um, a good thing for me. <laughs> Echo's trying to steal something that I'm going to put on my altar. No puppy, not for you. And so I'm going to put that there. Numite is good for enhancing one's ability to heal themselves and others, which is really important for me because I've been trying to, you know, use energetic healing to heal myself when I am in painful situations. So that's always good to have. And then I'm also going to have honey calcite on my altar, which helps with patience and strengthening the immune system. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Graves' disease, which is what I have, is also an autoimmune disease. And so I figured it was probably a good idea to, you know, strengthen my immune system, especially because we're going to be traveling at the end of this month to go visit Jim's parents for Thanksgiving. And I always get sick on the plane. It drives me insane. So I might actually bring this one with me, but I'm putting it on my altar for now. And then I'm also including my clear quartz point because this clear quartz point is actually connected to my brother who lives in Seattle, Austin. And um, I just really want to keep family connections close. I don't actually have a, a crystal that's connected to my sister. I'm going to have to do that because she's moving away. But I try to have... Um, crystals that I have connected to family members that I'm really, really close with. So I want to have that on here. Uh, I think I'm going to put that there. And then the last thing I'm going to do, which I have never done on my altar before, is I'm going to use what I use in spell work, which is my tiny little spell bowl. And this is just a tiny metal bowl, but I bought it from a witchy store in our area. Um, I believe it's called the Melting Pot, but they had this tiny little bowl and I actually have it to go in my um, spell work box, which is this and I show you guys all that's in here on my altar tour I guess video where I show you guys you know everything that's on this shelf and stuff like that but um, this little bowl is something that I want to include this month because I want to put herbs in it which I've never done before but I just felt really called to do that. Echo no you cannot have that. That's, she's trying to roll the pumpkin that I had on my altar last month um, somewhere with her little butt. You're trying to steal stuff. Um, so to start off, I'm just going to put some sea salt in this bowl. And the reason why I chose sea salt was because sea salt has cleansing properties and it helps to cleanse of negative energy and... Um, really heal one's aura so I'm gonna put that in the bowl at the base and then I'm also going to include rosemary because rosemary when I looked it up it said that it helps with healing strength and stress relief so I'm gonna put some rosemary in there I also decided to include fennel seed which helps with breaking bad habits communication travel wisdom and self-improvement and I've also decided to include cloves, which the reason why I chose cloves was not only because they smell amazing, they have this, oh, this really great spicy, almost cinnamon-like smell, but they're really good for helping with peace of mind, so I wanted to put them in there as well. And then I'm also going to include these two acorns, which Echo has brought in from our yard for me. She kept bringing in acorns and I kept throwing them away and she would get really upset when I would and I thought, oh, well, she just doesn't want me to throw them away because she wants them. But after a while, I started wondering why she kept bringing them in because we don't have a tree that really produces acorns by our house that I know of. So I found that picture that I posted on my Facebook wall a couple of weeks ago that said acorns represent security and abundance and a bunch of other things, but those stood out to me. And they said, you know, you should hold 
acorns and have them on her all the time. And so I actually started keeping them and then she stopped bringing them in. And I was so confused and then I realized that she was actually bringing them to me as gifts. That she probably was getting them from somewhere, whether that was fairies, because fairies often have acorns as gifts, but I saw it as more of a gift and less as a nuisance that she was bringing them in, and then she stopped bringing them in. So um, I guess that was what she wanted me to do all along, was just to keep them as gifts. So I'm going to put those on the altar for that. And honestly, that's going to be my altar this month. It's super simple, but it really has a lot of meaning, and everything on here is on there for a specific reason and helps to kind of, you know, bring all the energies of the other things together. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing great and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Okay, so I know the lighting is super crappy and I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to mention that as far as I know, the telesummit with Candace Moon is has been cancelled. I don't know if it will ever happen, but if it does, I will definitely wait to let you guys know until I know for certain that it will, just because I, I hate leading you guys on and saying that something's going to happen and then it doesn't. Obviously, there was some unforeseen circumstances that happened that caused this to be canceled. I'm not going to go into it because it's just not mine to tell. But I will say that I do hope that we do something in the future together and only time will tell whether that will happen. But I hope you guys will have a good weekend and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that so you're not wondering, you know, what happened with that or if it's ever going to come out. So <laughs> I just want to let you guys know and thank you guys for being so understanding and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.